still not going to be the ones getting the jump. EG should every single time. Yeah, I think that's actually a really good point that I guess I... You never know if he's going to be able to secure that first blood. And he's getting to the point where those you know, level 3 raids are pretty dangerous. But it's bottom lane. That looks like we're going to have our kill. There it is. Suicide finally comes out. AUY. It's hard for them to kind of make a move in, but if they can kill a Sumil here, this would be significant. But he has his Yule Scepter and a Hand of Midas already. They have to be so careful about this, but they should have enough to kill him. Yeah, Sumil's going to be forced into a self Yule Scepter. Never mind, still gets caught by the ultimate. Now pops and dodges most of the damage. Spear comes in with great Sonic Wave in order to finish off the Disruptor nice and fast. Sumil dropping lower and lower. The man is getting a really good shell grave. He actually survived through all of that. Uh, the last bit of damage is there from the Tombstone, unfortunately. Now the Dragonite plus the Undying. Both going to pop their ultimates here to try and fight some more. AUI get a little bit of damage on the card. The first damage is almost there. Fear still goes down towards the tail end of that one. But AUI walks away with a double kill. Shiki trying to catch up to PP. D has it. He's gonna hit a BKB at a really reasonable timing. That blink dagger has done so much work, and he's 2 0 and 3, and he's just put so much pressure on the map. And I can, I'm starting to see why C deck is so dominant. This bottom PPD is gonna get caught out of position, too. Yeah, he's done for C deck. He throws out the weave last half second there. They actually get the kill to Disruptor. Looks like they wanted to back up immediately because they knew there was a possibility of recourse. Universe, oh, not quite enough. Great glimpse out from Q and the double TP out. Nope. Beer actually got one of them, and AUI point four, but a little bit too late for the toss. Yeah, they're still just creating space around the map, which I think is the good thing, is that you're forcing EG, uh, who, Radiance you know, force you to play around them. Attack. This time, C-Deck is saying, you're going to play around us. Like, we're going to make the move. We're going to force you to put me <laughs> Oh, <laughs> All right, Dota just plugged uh, down, and the Undying died. Somebody's got to get on that. Techie's minds. I just, like, I, I was trying to laugh, and... I, I don't need, I can't even, whatever. The game bugged, the undying <laughs> died, you move on from that. That's life. That's the thing, that's how you have to treat it. You can't get tilted yeah. by stuff like that. You just be like, that's, you know, what, what can you do? Oh, aggressive pop by two mines, there's the blink in. They eliminate the gyrocopter. The physical damage and pure damage combined together, but Shiki is still in good fighting shape. He already popped the BKB, gets healed up. They will catch PPT. It's a two for one, make it a three. They're gonna be able to catch Fear as well with the Disruptor Ultimate, making sure he doesn't go anywhere. That actually turns out very all right, especially if they can get more, but Snail's already popped his BKB. Let's lose the Ultimate. Universe jumps forward with the Burrow Strike. They've taken out the Undying. A big kill to get. Same goes with XE, and Shiki realizes without his support, he has to start backing himself away. The Universe is still around. He has a Burrow Strike up in a second. Can he get it off in time? No! The right click is there from Shiki. He commits all in in order to get that kill, so at the end of the day, that was... Uh... Don't let it scare you into not making moves whatsoever. And they're doing it this game. Like they're getting aggressive on the map. Mm -hmm. They're willing to take these fights. I like that they're finally starting to apply pressure, but they have to be so careful about not overcommitting because oh, the epicenter's coming in. Universe is gonna be able to hit just the one man for a strike already met goes up in order to save FC. Double snowball on the He actually locked the universe in. Good shallow grave is actually gonna be able to buy more time for the universe who has a burrow strike up in a second. There goes XC with fear coming in from behind. He's got BKB plus double damage, stone. but Samel is already dead. Fear makes the blink away from the tombstone now. He got a couple of kills. Shiki's still trying to pursue, but he won't be able to fight around the map because with this Roshan, it's going to be hard to kill Sumail twice. And both times he's ended up with a triple kill. And I think yeah. they actually do. They're headed down. This could be a game winning fight, but they don't know that Universe is smoked up still and waiting in this corner. Oh, they may be distracted by going for it. Oh, Universe. He makes the blink in Burrow. Only eliminate Q, but it's still a great ultimate to be able to pass. Uh, Grant Steve trying to finish off Universe. We get the Burrow Strike away. Undying already down and out. Same goes with the Tombstone. Samel's going to run out of his BKB, though, and Shiki and Aggressive will just focus him down. Nice two man Burrow Strike. Samel's still left alive, but he will go down eventually. Universe sandstorming his way in is actually going to survive a bit longer. He'll actually just. No opening to be found. Yeah, I think they have a pretty good inclination that EG's all the way up here at this top lane. They have so many wards in the jungle and this outer area that they must have spot them, yeah. Once they see that they're in this area, they're... Oh, they got Jamel! And see, there goes the BKB. Already Mines goes off. Bye bye Tusk. The ultimate gets laid out. Shiki actually drops a little bit low, but they're just going to kite around Samael. Universe is coming in from the side. Pops to Shiva's. BKB is run out for the Dragon Knight. Now it's going to be susceptible to all that bursting. There goes the Sonic Wave. Able to finish him off. Samael does die in the end, but c -Deck have lost three. And Aggressive now fighting for his life. Does manage to get Universe. The rest of Evil Geniuses are they going to pursue for more? Looks like they get killed quite easily.
Aggressive, yeah, they recover the gem actually. AUI quickly snags that one. That's a huge win for them. Just the team fight. It's essentially a, a three minute delay to any push that you laid out. Yeah, wherever you decide to place it, you have to be sure. That's where the fight's gonna happen because C deck can just go for the bottom lane. Fear gets Glimpse back. He pops the BKB. He'll be forward from that one. Samael managed to get off a really great ultimate, which will be able to finish off the Tusk at the very least. Now the Disruptor drops his ultimate. Q is going to be right clicked down nonetheless. Fear still in a great position. Now here comes Universe as well. They're just going to be able to control the DK. They just want to fight right outside of C deck space. It's a huge win. And they're going to be able to go uphill, attempting to force buybacks, but there are none. Oh, actually, the Dragon Knight doesn't have a buyback because nope. he fully completed completed that AC. Tusk just got a Blink Dagger, and I mean, they definitely didn't see Universe coming in from that backside as the Dragon Knight uses attack. all of his BKB timer. Universe with another clutch ultimate. This guy's just insane. Aggressive, just trying to Dyer's stall, essentially, but attack. it's so hard. You've got these big right clickers. They're just going back and forth between the two lanes, not even taking too much of a threat. Grissy is now going to be the target. Does have that Aegis, so even if he gets popped here, Dyer's he'll come back in secondary time. Attack. And they'll Dyer's just gladly take the range racks. So you think get the melee racks as well? Nope, they actually pop themselves out. A lot of Z deck are coming back. And you are just laying mine after mine on that tier 3 tower. But Tusk is back. Dragonite's up in 20 seconds. It looks like, unless they see an opening craft, XZ being overly aggressive, goes for PPD, can't quite pop him, and there is the Shell Grade to be able to keep him alive. The Tombstone might be able to finish him off as well. Aggressive looking for a call down to catch him in the end. PP dodges that one, and Aggressive is just losing a lot of time chasing down a support. He does get him in the end, but they traded away a Tusk for that one. And EG are stunning him as much as possible. There are some heals, and Shiki's still tanking up to survive through all this, but he's forced to pop his BKB. At the same time, the snowball went out, and they're kind of in an awkward position. It's hard to manage to catch some mail, though, with the ultimate. Shiki also stunning him up. Samail will go down. The universe comes in. Here comes that epicenter with the already stun up on Aggressive. Now Samail pops the Satanic. He's actually staying alive here. The control's going to be on Aggressive as well. He really wants to get some mail, and he will in the end. But the Scythe of Blast and the right click should be able to finish him off. Burrow Strike, double stun will get Q as well. Another buyback out. Dragonite. Shiki. He's got his Elder Dragon form alongside Aggressive. They're going to try and win this fight. If they don't get it, though, this is going to be the end of the game. Garter is dropping lower and lower. Will end up falling some mail now on the retreat. Shiki and Aggressive slowed him down, keeping up. But oh, what a big stasis trap controlling two of the cores. And now with the mines, both of them dropping low. Universe finishes off one. The mail gets the other. C deck dropped the gyrocopter with no buyback. Dragonite forced into his buyback. And Samael, the rest of EG, are still looking healthy enough that they can easily win this last fight. Cheeky comes forward, desperate to be able to Dyer's win a fight without attack. Elder Dragon Form. Stunts up Samael, but just enough to do the damage. Dyer's now slow down. Universe fallen. looking for that next bro strike. Won't be able to get it, but Q dies. Dyer's and now the Dyer's Dragonite attack. left against the world. But it's a top lane of Rax, soon to be mid, that's also going to fall. C-Deck are just banking on the Dragonite and the supporting cast of Tusk and Undying that are coming up in 20 seconds. What's going on in these fights right now Dyer's is that C-Deck's supports are so under farmed that they just die in the beginning of the fight and then they, their cores are getting kited like crazy. Like, the Gyrocopter was doing a lot of damage, so was the Dragonite, but once the BKB timers were up, EG just consistently kited them. They had so many disables to sort of just cycle through non-stop. Hexes, the stuns, and she the dual centers, and the grave just allowed this fight to go for so long. It's the last three. It's the trio. They have to win this one. EG, it's five manning though. They've already been winning so many fights. There goes the ultimate, blowing up Gardner. They also XC towards the tail end, and GG. GG survives through it all, but it's still lost for C-Deck. Evil geniuses take the series two to zero. AUI in that entire fight just threw down stasis traps left and right. You just throw remote mic, remote mic, remote mic. <laughs> yep. Beyond godlike for him, as he only dies as once independent of a kill, almost always suicides. And the net worth advantage that their supports had were what really made the difference in this last fight. So C deck, as much as they showed a lot of promise in this group stage and will be a monster going into the.